Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's good to be here this evening. the moments of the spirit. Every moment is not the same in spiritual equation. You can be doing something for 10 years. Your result is not predicated on how long you've done it. Your result is predicated on your ability to discern the moments of the spirit. The Bible said there is a, a pool by the sheep market. It's called Bethesda. It says at a certain time, the angel of the Lord went down and troubled the waters. He said, whoever gets in first is cleansed of whatsoever infirmity. There was a man who was by that pool for 38 years. His duration there was not a factor because he didn't know the moments of the Spirit. We are about to trouble the waters now. Some of you are waiting for the man of God to finish to lay hands on you. When I'm ministering, I'm wearing a garment. It's my apostolic garment. I function from an office. When I step down, it's my faith that will bless you. But when I'm ministering, I'm ministering with my faith, my anointing, and my office. So these moments are more significant. If I were you, I will ascend. Lift your hands toward heaven and talk to the Lord. Shabra hasifaha de gebara paya. Zadavanda prahi la posa safari. Rabi da banda le de prahi.
like a heart palpitation. I'm seeing God touching somebody on the heart. Who is the person? This room, I'm seeing somebody, your heart is beating faster than normal. Where is that person? Please come quickly, I need to touch you before I move. There's a movement now. There's somebody here, I'm seeing your heart beating faster. God is touching you. Come quickly. Go from him, you devil. that you are wearing something black. There's a white cloud descending upon you and I heard a shout in the spirit. Lord, as I speak now, I bring that witness into this auditorium. That one receiving, oh dear, is spreading upon a few people now. I'm seeing a cloud resting. This one will carry the glory of God. It will carry the glory of God. I'm hearing a shout in the spirit. Yes, it's wearing the black now. The cloud is spread, it's spreading on people. Let's help them. Father, we thank you for your presence. We ask that your word will come with fire. We ask that there will be transformations. So transformations. We ask that there will be deliverances. We ask that changes will take place in the lives of men. Take all the praise. Take all the glory. In Jesus' name. Sit down. I will share with us for, for 15 minutes. I want us to really pray tonight. I want us to pray tonight. The spirit of intercession will hit this building. I wish you knew what I said. The spirit of intercession will hit this beauty. You know, man was created to exist in the midst and in the company of spirits. Before we were created, the entire universes of God were already predominated by spirits. We came here to live among spirits. Spirits existed before we were created. Man was created to exist in the company of spirits. When spirit intelligence is at work. When a doctor is operating, blood becomes a problem. He will, he will scrape blood out. Because the presence of blood will affect the operation. But the spirit said, life is in the blood. That is to tell you that the foundation of medicine is a lie. <laughs> you reign, you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. Break forth, O fountains of the deep, cry out, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. You come to Patakot, you bought the land in GRA. 
and you say we are we are we are cozy in GRA. You didn't know that before men were created, that region you call GRA, there is a prince in darkness that sits there. But you came after spiritual civilizations have already been established. So until you can tap into the frequency and the, 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 the dimensions of heaven, you will not know that where you stand is a lie. That's why I said it's not given to man that walketh to order his steps. Even your body, the framework of your body is a lie. When you are 25 years old, your face is glowing. When you become 60, even the face begins to sag. To tell you that even your skin is a lie. If you bank on anything natural, you have wasted. Because there is no original foundation in time. Time is a realm of corruption. Time is a realm of vanity. There is no power in time. Everything that is in time is a pathway. It's a portal. It's a dimension created to allow for spiritual intelligence. Only the things that have their root in the spirit can stand. Anything that has its root in time is a lie. Because this realm has already been judged. It's a realm of vanity. So what God expects us to do is to leave heaven on earth. Our life is supposed to be an expression of the continuous progression of the movements of the Spirit of God. That's why the subject, when the Spirit takes over, is too important. In fact, the truth is that it's only when the Spirit takes over that life has meaning. So your date of birth is not when you came from your mother's womb. Your date of birth is when the Spirit takes over. <laughs> you know, people celebrate birthdays once in a year, not for spiritual men. Every time we migrate in the Spirit is our birthday. We have leaped to another reality. We have leaped to another dimension. The day you came into this world is not the day you were born. It's the day the spirit takes over you were born. If not, everything you do is a lie. When you cross through the veil of time into eternity, you will now discover that breath is not life. Life is the knowledge of God. Because even after we leave time, life continues. Departure from time is just an exchange of your external garment. Because this body is the clothes you need to function here. When you go to Zion, there's a celestial body. So what you call death is not death. It's a shift from one plane to another. Life is not breath. Life is the knowledge of God. It's the koinonia you have with the Spirit of God. People are dwarfed. People are dwarfed. Many people, they live by human philosophy. Sit down, sit down. You are mighty. You are glorious. Yahweh. Do you know how God plays? When a man wants to play, he distracts himself. When a God wants to play, he manifests power. He says, all things were created for your pleasure. That's how God plays. So when God was born and he wanted to play, he said, let there be light. Light appeared. <laughs> a God plays by displaying power. Many gods will be born here. You will see. If you enter into your reality, the things the devil brings as, as oppression is, a, is an atmosphere for you to manifest. Because if there's no darkness, light can't shine. That's why the darkness is not taken away when the light shines. He said the light shines in the darkness. The darkness gives the light opportunity to shine. When we are done and you allow the spirit, what you call your problem, we actually become your platform. The platform of a spiritual man is not a puppet, it's his challenges. The healing anointing is useless unless they are sick people. <laughs> I will, you will begin to see how a God sees. You will see how a God sees. <laughs>